Hey guys, Joseph Chase Mantone here, just to let you know that I am going to be streaming today with my friend Aaron aka Letfum from Grim Galaxy Gaming. There's a self-destructing link in this video description right now to the Twitch channel where we're going to be streaming this game for a few hours. It's going to be there as long as we're online. So you should join us and hang out while we try and play Friday 13th for the NES. Or you can just watch this and go about your day, or you can do both. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you at the stream. <laughs> What's up guys, well, I'm your Daily Days of Joseph, I'm your host Joseph Jace Mantendo, and welcome again to GTFO Friday the 13th. I say again, because if you're new to my channel, this is something I do every Friday the 13th, every year at least. For the last like two years, I didn't do it around the time I started, if I had, I might have beaten the game by now. But we just do it as a GTFO, which means go to fail on, because I am likely to fail at this game. And ooh, ooh, oh, I need that! The key! The key is important. Uh, that's amazing to get a key so fast. Now I just need a knife. And this is a game made by a company that probably no longer exists anymore. I forget who it was. I think <laughs> it may have been Activision? I'm not sure. But the point is, it's a really stupidly hard game. Jason's right here. Now that's a. Uh, I don't have anything worth fighting him with, but. Like, oop, boop, boop, boop. I guess I'll do it. Point is, the reason I had to get the lighter and the key and I had I needed a knife, which I now have, is there's one, if you see Jason's health bar is not moving at all. Come on. Come on, nerd. But there's a, a strong item in the game that does like a health bar or a half or something to Jason every hit. And you have to have a certain number. Oh, Jason almost showed up right there. That could have been bad. Especially that I'm not prepared. He might show up out here right now. Although I feel like he would have already if he were going to. But, point is, I have to have all those things so that I can do something really stupid and convoluted. I know my way around this game, by the way, more than anybody should. Because... I've played it, I've studied the crap out of this game. It's a horrible game. Huh. Weird, I missed the I missed the lake somehow. Whatever, I guess I'm closer right here anyways. So the really convoluted stuff is you have to get a lighter, a knife, and a key so that this note will appear. The note says go into the woods. <sighs> We're in the woods, because the woods are a freaking maze. If you've never seen this, the woods are a maze. But luckily, I've done this enough time that I've been yeah, enough times that I have it memorized. And also, the world drops are random. That knife is always in that area. But I can sit there jumping forever and not get the knife. The key is to get in here. If I don't have the key, it's locked. And then you get this note. Fire will damage Jason the most. Well, thanks for the info. Where do you get fire? There is a place to get fire. Oh, sometimes there's an axe here. I wanted the axe. Whatever. The axe is gonna get replaced anyways. And, yeah, so jump... <laughs> I shouldn't have taken that key. Whoops. That's a problem. Picking up items is jumping. Items spawn when you're jumping. Anyways, if we turn all the way around, we get a torch! Strongest weapon. In the I think it might be second strongest. I forget. I know that... There's another really strong item you can get, but it only appears on the third day, and it's really hard to get. Ugh. But the problem is, jumping to dodge those guys is now a dangerous idea, because if a knife spawns under my feet, I'm gonna pick it up and replace the torch, and I can't get it again with this character after that. You're welcome, kiddo. Woo! Wee! Alright, see how much damage it does in comparison to the freaking knife I had? Uh, I also have a, uh, cause I've been playing this on emulator, uh, every time, cause, you know, the N NES, almost N64, the NES is a very, very unreliable device, and I don't want it shutting down or flickering on me while I'm playing or taking me suddenly into RuneScape or something, <laughs> I just don't, I don't want random bad things to happen, anyways, Jason, oh, I shouldn't be jumping. 
Wait, wait, eh, eh, where did Jason go? Okay, so he's in here. And if I can chase him out of the house and fight him on the road, that is the best option. Nice toothbrush, dude. Oh, no, 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 I have five potions, I ain't that scared. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't think I've ever had that many potions. Come on, get burned, Jason, yeah. Now, if I go outside, in this zone, I don't think... We're gonna find out in a second. Ooh, danger! Okay, Jason did not go this direction. But you can chase him when outside and just randomly find him inside of a house if you check the house. The point is that if you chase him out of a house at any given point, uh, on this inner circle, he's always going left. On the circle over there by the cave, he's always going left. On the outermost circle, he's always going right. Oh, he ran outside to the outside circle. Oh, what? Nope. He's in this house right here, so don't mess with me, stupid zombies. And also, uh, on the topic of Friday the 13th, as this is Friday the 13th, uh, somebody is finally, I think I may have <laughs> said this in the last Friday the 13th, I'm not sure, it was, it's been a little bit, uh, somebody is finally making a new Friday the 13th game. Some company, Gun Media, an indie group, said, why is there no good Friday the 13th game? They're like, it's been years, somebody should have done it by now, let's do it. Long story short, they are now doing it. They had a Kickstarter campaign. I did not have a job at the time like I do now. Come on, get burned, Jason. Get burned, get burned, get burned, burn, 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 feel the burn. Feel the burn. Oh, he's dead, which means my health refills. Yes, thank God. All right, I'm going to go to a different camp counselor and get them strong. This chick is like second best. Mark is the best because he's... I have to go there because Mark might be in the house. Okay, it's it's only Paul. I'm tempted to just let Paul die because he's one of the worst characters, honestly. You know what? If I if I die with Chrissy, it's okay. Okay, I forgot this is day two, Jason. Ah, day two, Jason sucks. He'll just randomly come in for two hits for no good reason. He'll super speed ya. But if I can chase Jason out, that'd be a good thing. Although I'm not gonna chase him. If I chase him, that'd be a bad idea. Because I don't have any good weapons and he'd just kill me. But losing Chrissy is not a terrible loss because she doesn't have anything important on her besides a lighter. I need a key. I'm not going to the right because now it's running to Jason. I need a knife. I need potions. And I need a key. So I'm gonna get that crap, get her the torch, and just hopefully keep him from killing anybody else. Problem is, I may have passed a key already. There's one, yes! Yeah, it's entirely possible for me to just pass a key on accident. And, uh, it not pop up, even if I'm jumping. Because I don't know what really determines it all, but it's just not a perfect system. Right, those are only kids out there. <sighs> as horrible and sad as it sounds, I'm willing to sacrifice a few kids to get this torch. There we go, he's still on the water. I have 11 seconds. I don't think I'm gonna... Oh no, I have 30 seconds. I can get there and... I don't really want to fight him inside, though. Whatever, I guess I'll do it, because the more kids live, the more of an actual opportunity I get in my life. Are you kidding me? There he is. With his stupid feather weapon. Yeah, that's right. You heard me, Jason. It's a freaking feather. Loser. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why fighting him inside on the second day sucks. I only have one potion, so I'm not really as ballsy with her as I could be right now. I, I just want him to go outside, Jason. Go outside, yes! Thank you. I also had an energy drink and two coffees today, so my my feelings are through the roof right now. And my massive anxiety from this game in general is also very large right now. I'm gonna just take a guess and say that he went out here. Yes, he did! Ooh, get wrecked, Jason! Get wrecked, get wrecked, wreck, 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 wreck,
My two upside did some good damage. You know, I know that I've done some good damage to Jason, and this guy's got like, okay, I was gonna <laughs> say heck amount of potions, but I've only got one potion right now. I'm just gonna go out as him and hope for the best, because if I can push Jason into day two by fighting him outside, that would be best right now. Oh my god, why would it be inside? It's almost worth giving her the torch. No, it's not. But if I die, then somebody else would have the torch, but I'm not gonna do much worthwhile damage to Jason without it. Come on, get it. Eat it, Jason. Come on, Jason. Jason, let's take this outside. Yes! Yes, let's take this outside! Yes! <sighs> Come on. I need Jason. There's a good chance he went in there. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's right here. He's right here. Come on. Come on, Jason. Burn. Burn. <laughs> oh, I'm going to day two. Oh. Ooh. That's why I imagine. He looks like he's making a face right there, like a Scooby Doo character. Like, he looks up and goes, Ooh. Since it is day three, I'm going to go ahead and pause like the worst. Uh, I don't know who's faster, De Laura or Debbie. I'm just gonna go with Debbie, I guess, because she's got red hair. Ooh, mistakes. I made a mistake with this choice. But, whatever, if I can get her beefed up, then it won't matter. On the second day, there's also... You can fight Jason's mother, and it's like Medusa's head. And... It's... It's something, but you... You get a, uh... Ooh, a knife. You get a sweater from her that reduces your damage by half, so you only take half the damage. But, eh, it's hardly worth it considering how hard that fight is. It's like really stupid hard. Where is he? <gasps> oh no, I think he's attacking. I think he, that's Mark. That's Marky Mark. Or Marky Moo. Oh god, I've got two Marks to worry about. Two very important Marks in my life are Marky Mark and Marky Moo. And... If Jason's gonna get either of them, well, I can't sell for that. Which sucks, because I have all the items necessary to get the torch right now, but I can't let him have Mark. Mark is, like, the most important character to me. Ooh, I was right. I'm gonna change. That way, if, if I very unlikely die as Mark, I'll just switch to Debbie. Okay, Jason, why don't we just calm down? <laughs> oh, jeez. Am I gonna be able to hit you? Okay, you hit like a truck, dude. Can I just... Okay, this was a bad idea. I was wrong when I said I wouldn't take damage. Oh my goodness! Okay, well... R.I.P. Mark forever. Gonna switch to Debbie. I gotta be careful, because he's here right now. Or at least he might be. Oh no! <gasps> No! No, it's over. This is it. This is it. Get out! Get out! Jason! Jason! Go! 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 He might be out here, which would be even worse, because I'm just trying my darndest. No! No! Jason, you're, you're doing exactly what I want you to, but at the wrong... What was that? I just want the fire, Jason! <laughs> oh my god, Laura got it going on! Well, Stacy's mom over here. It's okay, it's just the children. It sucks, because even if I know where the keys are, there's no guarantee that I'm going to make it spawn. All right, there's four kids left, so next time he does that, I really can't be letting him. Yes, Friday the 13th, the game. Add zombies, naturally. Zombies in Crystal Lake. Oh, yeah. The kids are going to eat it up. Don't touch. Do not touch what you cannot afford. <gasps> well, now here we go. Paul, the slowest guy and the worst jumper. Great. Uh, I guess getting day three is an achievement for me. Come on. Okay, why don't we all calm down? I can't let him have the kids again, because there's four of them. And if I let him keep having his way, they'll all be dead. And then it's game over. That's doubly game over. It's either lose all your counselors or lose all the kids. Which 
I mean, really, if it's survival horror, shouldn't it be about me surviving? Because as long as I survive, I, oh my god! Alright, but now I've got to go freaking, oh god, there's three kids. How many more can he kill in this little amount of time? I'm watching, if it goes down again, I'm just going to quit this. Countdown's still going, I gotta go there. I can't not. Oh no. That's it, he's got all the kids, doesn't he? No, please don't kill the last kid. No, don't do it, don't, <laughs> come on! Jason wiped out the kids, game over, but you don't matter. Your life is worthless without the kids. The kids are dead, stop it. <laughs> stop talking to me, game. Stop making your noise. Even if I hit, oh, I can't kill the game's noise. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, hope you enjoyed. And if you did, you should subscribe for more, because I do this every Friday the 13th. And in case you forgot, since the beginning, I am on Twitch today with my friend Aaron, aka Let Fum, and we are going to be streaming this game. If you're interested, link in the description and the cards. I will see you guys there.